another video for you guys and today I'm going to show you guys how I achieve this hair color right here using the watercolor technique. I've seen so many videos of this technique on YouTube and a lot of you guys have been requesting me to do this and I watched our Arnel Armand's video and I was actually really really inspired to try it out for myself. I really love her channel. If you're not familiar with it, you should check her out. I'll link her channel in the description bar down below as well. So yeah, I'm going to be doing the watercolor technique to get this, um, what do you guys call this shade? Like a minty? It's kind of like a minty green. I actually wanted a lighter mint green, but this is what happened and I'm feeling it. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comment section. But yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how I achieved this color. I'm going to show you guys how I apply my wigs. So yeah, if you like this video and it's helpful to you, please give me a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you can be notified when I upload a new video on my channel as well. So let me stop rambling and show you guys how I achieve this hair look. <laughs> All right, let's get started. So I'm going to be using the Ali Pearl hair today. This is what the frontal looks like. I really love this frontal. It did not require a lot of tweezing. That's one thing I liked about it. And I'm using three bundles of hair. And I made my wig off camera because I do have videos on making wigs. So this is what the wig looks like. I know I look crazy. So this is a 613 color body wave hair. So moving on to color in the hair, you're going to need a bucket of water. I've seen some people do this and they boil the water, but I just use the hot water directly from the tap and I'm just filling up that bucket. I'm not, all, I'm not filling it all the way up, but I'm just adding quite a bit of water in there. So I'm going to be using two bottles of Adore colors and the shade that I'm using is in Sweet Mint and it's a semi-permanent hair dye. Okay guys, so I have to be a little bit honest with you guys. I was a little bit nervous to try this technique. So I only poured like half a bottle of my dye in there and then I went in with a wooden spoon. You probably want to use not a wooden spoon that you want to ruin because your spoon will get stained. And then I just grabbed a small section of the hair. Actually not really small, but I didn't want to dump the entire wig into the bucket because I was so scared that I might ruin it. So I let the hair sit in the water for about 15 seconds and oh my gosh, you guys like look at that. Like I was like very impressed at this point. I'm like, okay, I'm going to pour all the entire dye into that water, mix it all around. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the entire wig into that bucket of dye and I'm just going to mix it around. I do have gloves on because this stuff will stain your fingers and you guys look at that. My wig is like minty green in like two minutes, literally. I don't even think I had it in the water for that long and my frontal, like there's no stain whatsoever on the frontal. Like I was so impressed with this technique. So guys, when I first pulled the hair out, the shade was absolutely perfect. However, there was a few blonde pieces still there. So I went back and I put the wig back in there because I was like, okay, I need to cover the blonde pieces and I put it back into the water. And I find that when I put it back into the water and I left it in for a little bit longer, the hair got darker, which is not exactly what I wanted. But, you know, I was happy with the end results after I styled my hair and everything. But I must say, I really love this technique. I was very impressed with this. And you will end up using way less dye doing the watercolor technique. So you're going to be spending less money to color your hair. And I'm all here for this. I will be doing this again and again. I actually enjoy doing this so much. So I'm all done coloring my wig. Now we're going to move on to showing you how I apply my wig. So first off, you need a wig cap. I got mine from Amazon. You can get these at the beauty supply store as well. And you're going to need some got to be free spray. So I'm just going to apply the got to be free spray all over my wig cap. And this basically acts as a glue. However, it's perfectly safe for your hair. Uh, you can remove this with water. And as for my hair, you guys, I don't know how to do cornrows. So I just do two big braids and I slick it down with a lot of gel if you can do cornrows that's even better because you'll get it to lay really really flat now I'm just using my finger to massage the got to be free spray into my wig cap and my forehead you can let this stuff air dry or you can use your blow dryer on the cool setting so it takes a while to dry and then once it's dry I'm gonna go in with a scissors and start cutting and of course Simba wants to be a part of everything and do not laugh at my scissors these are kitchen scissors okay I don't know where my hair scissors were but listen I had to grab what I had to grab to show you guys how I apply this wig 
and I'm just cutting off that extra band off my wig cap because I don't need the band anymore. The whole point is to get this wig cap to look like a ball cap. Hi Simba. <laughs> so yeah, this is pretty much what it's supposed to look like once you're done cutting off the band. Alright, so now I'm gonna try my wig on just to see how that wig cap is looking under my wig. Now, I don't like to pull my wig down too low because I don't really have a lot of forehead space and I don't want my forehead to look too like short. So I just like to make sure that my wig is by my hairline. If you feel like you need to pull it down a little lower, you can go ahead and do so. But I just, I'm just very like weird when it comes to my forehead. I don't like when my forehead look too short. So now I'm going to go in with some foundation powder that is my skin tone and I'm just going to apply this to my wig cap. I don't cover the entire wig cap. I just put it at the base of the hairline and then I'm going to go in with some rubbing alcohol. So you want to use this to clean off your forehead, especially if you have makeup on. Uh, it's best to apply your wig with no makeup on or make sure your forehead is really, really clean to get rid of that excess oil because the glue will not stick to your forehead properly if there is oil and makeup on your forehead. All right, so moving on, I'm gonna take the Ghost Bond Lace Glue. This is actually my very first time using this glue, you guys. I've used the uh, Bold Hold Lace Glue in the past. This was actually my first time using this. So I'm just gonna apply this on my forehead and I do this in sections. And I'm just gonna go in with a rat tail comb. This is a little crappy one that I'm just gonna spread that glue on. And you wanna make sure you wait until the glue is clear before you add another layer. So I usually do two layers of glue. So I wait for the first one to be dry and then I go in with the second layer. You never wanna apply the wig when the glue is white. So you wanna make sure it's nice and clear. Now you can let this air dry or you can go in with a blow dryer on a cool setting just to speed things up a bit. I really love this technique to apply my wigs because I do feel like my hairline, my edges are well protected because of the wig cap. And you guys, as you can see, I'm going to go in with the foundation powder and I'm just applying that to the wig as well onto the lace because when you're using a 613 lace, the lace is usually transparent. So it has a little bit of a white, it almost looks white. So you just want to go ahead and add some powder to that just so it blends into your skin a lot more when you apply the wig. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put my wig on you guys and that's it. That's all. That's pretty much it. No, I'm just kidding. No, I have to position this thing properly because it's not positioned properly and I have to pull the back down. So now I'm just going to put the lace on top of the glue. So I'm going to go in with my clean rat tail comb and I'm just going to press that into the glue. And as you can see, I need to add a bit more glue to my forehead to get that excess lay sticking down. So I'm just going to place that on my forehead and I'm going to wait for it to get clear before I apply the lace on top of it. And again, I'm going to go in with my rat tail comb to really, really blend that lace into that glue. And look at that. Our hair is getting laid. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and clip my hair up out of the way and I'm gonna do the same thing I did to my forehead. So I'm just applying the glue to the sides and I'm gonna go ahead with my rat tail comb and just blend that glue down. And then you wanna wait for it to be clear and then just press the lace down. Like it's really that easy. It's that simple, you guys. I mean, it did take a lot of practice for me to get it, like to perfect it, but I'm getting the hang of it and for me I find that it's actually easier to apply the glue like this in sections it's make it makes it a lot easier for you to apply the wig I find and I like to go in with some got to be free spray this part is definitely optional but I like to do this I feel like it just makes the hairline even look even better and it just gives me an extra hold as well And then I like to go in with some of that rubbing alcohol just to clean up any excess glue off my forehead. And you guys look at that wig like she is laid. Look at that forehead. Look at that hairline laid. Okay guys, so after I applied my wig, I actually went straight to bed. So this is actually the very next day. As you can see, my makeup might be a little bit different. And this is what my wig looks like. Now I'm gonna go in with a hot comb and I'm gonna go ahead and flatten out that top just so it doesn't look bulky. And this is what it looks like if you wanna put it in a middle part. I don't usually rock middle parts. I don't know, I always do. I'm a side part kind of girl, but maybe I'll do a middle part in the next video, who knows. But I'm gonna go ahead and pull out these sides and I'm gonna go ahead and cut these little baby hairs. I'm using an eyebrow razor that I got at the beauty supply store. 
and I really love using this for cutting the baby hairs instead of using an actual scissors and then I'm gonna go in with my toothbrush my little raggedy toothbrush that I use to do my baby hair I'm no baby hair expert okay but this is the best I can do I don't really like a lot of baby hair and it's not really my thing but just to cover and hide the lace I just cut some little baby hairs and go in with my toothbrush I apply some of that got to be free spray to the toothbrush and then do my little thing <laughs> And I'm just gonna go in with some got to be free spray and apply it onto my brush and just brush my hair just to get rid of any flyaways. I did straighten my hair with a flat iron off camera. And I'm also gonna go in with some mousse. This one I got at Sally's, I believe it's called So Gorgeous. And yeah, that is pretty much how I apply my wigs. And you can wear it half up, half down. You can do a center part, side part. Um, this one I can't wear it all the way up because it's not a 360 frontal but I really love how this turned out I love how the color turned out I really hope this video was so helpful to you guys and I had tons of fun filming this video for you guys I had tons of fun actually creating this wig so let me know if you guys want to see more hair videos on my channel as well so yeah you guys can tell I'm feeling this whole entire look like I loved how this hair turned out I love the quality of this hair actually so I'm using the body wave hair from Ali Pearl I'll put everything in the description bar down below I love this frontal it's giving me my entire life so yeah I'll see you guys in another video very very soon I love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching bye